Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as I said in my previous video, I'd I'd put um, I'd make a video for Radmin VPN as well. A lot of, a lot of people prefer it, but I mostly just got spam with bots. <laughs> so I'd still use Amati, but Radmin VPN does have a bit like a more friendly UI. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing we gotta do is go to somewhere where you will um, go somewhere where you remember where your server is gonna be. In my case, I'm going to do desktop and then right click new folder. Empty server 1.16.1. You can name it whatever you want. It don't matter. As long as you remember it. And then in here, it's empty for now. We're going to go to open up our thing. You're going to go to minecraft.net slash download slash server, or you can just go minecraft server download. It should bring you up to the same thing. So you just click that. And then you want to click Minecraft server, blah, blah, dot jar. And save file. And we'll go to our download folder right here and drag that into your server, that, uh, your folder that you made. And then you can run it. So only three things will appear first. Um, only yeah, only three things are gonna appear because you need to accept the EULA. Once it pops up, just double click on it, open it up, and change false to true. Save. And then you want to run it again. So this first step usually takes a while, so don't freak out if you you know you're like, oh it's stuck on 33%. Yeah, it will be. Um other than that, uh you just gotta wait. Be patient, it'll be done eventually. How you know it's done is that it'll say done it'll say preparing spawn area done or just done an average tick will start moving to like even higher that's how you know it's done so i will be back whenever all this is completed all right guys so we're back here um it's done but so once that's done you can stop it make sure you stop it by typing it and not force closing it here all right and then once that's done, um, I'm just going to go through these real quick. So ban IPs is um, anyone on the same computer will not be able to join your server. Ban players, same idea, just um, anyone on your uh, on here, like your username, won't be able to join your server. Uh, ops pretty much means admin, so whoever's in here will be the admin of your server. Um, server, this is where you launch it. Server here, this is really important, we'll go through that soon user cache don't don't touch it that's like where everyone saves their things and uh, whitelist if you have that on then only those people can join your server so first of all before we continue with server here we're gonna have to open up radmin and i'm gonna show you guys where to download this real quick but to go get radmin we'll get out of the machi here because i just recently um download i uh, recently made a video for hamachi <laughs> The Radmin VPN is over here. Um, this is how it looks like. Radmin-VPN.com. You click free download here. And save it where you'll remember. For me, it's going to be in my in my uh, down, uh, downloads. We're going to let this finish. Alright. Uh, so now we're going to go with downloads. Launch this. Press yes if it asks you. Try for black screen. And I'm not gonna download it because I already have a download as you can see, it's right here. So just follow up with this. Um, I don't think you have to create an account or anything like that. Um, that's what's the good thing about Radmin and not Amachi. I still prefer Amachi just because I got spammed with Radmin and that's kind of fishy when people spam you. Anyway, so your thing should look like this. If you're, uh, right now I'm offline. Like if you're offline, just click this and your things will pop up. Or if you don't have any, that's fine. Um, so to create a network on here is what you're gonna have to do. Um, you click network here, create new network. We're gonna name it Caesar YouTube Test One Two Three. Password it has to be seven things. So one two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven. Create. All right, so we created it. Um, so your friends are going to need Redmond as well, uh, so tell them to get it. And what they can do is, if they don't know, if you, if you want to change this, go ahead and just change name here. 
um, it's no big deal. But click network, join existing network. You have to put the the test right here. Caesar YouTube test one two three on network, and then type in the password, and then you'll see your name, your things here. Just like I have my friend here. But yeah, so once you have this, all your friends are gonna need this. Um, a good thing about Radmin is that you know it doesn't have like a user cap. I don't think so because if you go to join existing network and gaming networks, you'll see some people have like a hundred over a hundred people so oh so yeah so anyway once that's done you can minimize this let's reopen our thing our server and we're gonna go to server right here so this is important uh, because your IP is gonna go in here and this is where it's all the settings for your server so the thing the main things to look at is game mode right here if you want creative put creative um, difficulty normal or easy or hard whatever you want PvP, hardcore, max players. Um, if you have a lot of RAM, then go ahead. The more players, the more RAM. Um, there's also ways to allow more RAM to the server too, using a batch file. Make a new video for that. Um, and server IP, most important one. So to do this, you just gotta open up Radmin VPN. Right click your name here and do copy IP address. Paste it right here. So this is the IP you're gonna give to your friends too for them to join the server. And besides that, you can change like message of the day and all that stuff too. Once you're done, click save, close that, and then relaunch your server. So this won't be as as slow as the first time. Uh, first time was always slower just because um, I had to create the whole world, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, it also depends on your hard drive and all that stuff. I'm using a pretty bad hard drive for this. Uh, so yeah, that's why it's pretty slow. So I will be back whenever uh, Bon area is 100%. Alright guys, I'm back. It's uh, done here. It says can't keep up because you need to allow more RAM to it. Um, they did have a pretty big update recently with the whole nether, the nether world. Um, they have different biomes in the nether, so it's pretty cool. So when, after all your friends join your network here and uh, you, give them, you gave them their IP, uh, what you can also do is just right click someone's name or they can right click your name here and copy ad, uh, IP address as well. So you don't really need to give the IP. Anyway, so once that's done, go to Minecraft, open it up. Sorry for the black screen, it'll come back soon. There you go. Add server and put the IP right here and done. Uh, the first couple seconds might say pinging in an old. Or no connection or old, doesn't matter. Um, Anyway, your server's right here. That's what they'll do. And then just double click to join. And let's see if it works. So if, uh, if, I'll save for the end here. We're gonna make sure this works first. All right, so server's working. Server's working, seems fine to me. Look at village over there. Anyway, yeah, this means the server is working. So, um, so this lag here that you see here, you're gonna need to allocate more RAM to the server. And to do that, all you gotta do is make a batch file with a command. And uh, I'll show you guys that in another video. Anyway, so I hope this this helped you guys. Um, just a little disclaimer here. If you want, if you're playing with a cracked launcher, like TC launcher or something, in the server properties, you're gonna see online mode. And you have to turn that to false. So online mode, right here. So I have to turn this to false for like uh, your friends with cracked launchers to play. And what that does is pretty much removes everyone's skin. Like they can't connect to the network, so you did just you just play. So anyway, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped a lot, and uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.